I didn't like it. What? How does this happen? Hey everyone, today I am doing a really, really oddly huge empties video, empties review, products I used up, what I'm gonna repurchase, and what is just gonna be trash. I not only have my usual empties receptacle that is overflowing, but I also have this separate shopping bag that is about halfway full. I've got makeup, I've got skincare, I've got even a hair tool. Like I have all kinds of things to share with you. Some of it I've talked about before, some of it I have never talked about it before and I'm excited to share my review. Like I said in the past, I love empties videos because it's almost like a favorites video but it's like more intense because you actually used it to the very end and so if you still like that product and you're gonna repurchase it again, that's really saying something. That's love. That's backing up your love and your emotion with money. What does it all mean? There's not gonna be any real order, but I'm gonna try to move through it sort of quickly so we don't have to be here for like a year and a half. I know you've got a life. I'm gonna let you live it. I'm trying to have a life too, maybe someday I'll have one. First up, I have the Schwarzkopf Stylist Team. Mm, I think I'm saying that wrong, even though I did that whole Schwarzkopf thing last year. That was a struggle for me in every single one of those videos. That's a little backstory. This is the Biotin Volume and Texture Dry Shampoo. This stuff, actually like the whole line, smells so good. I've never had products that smelled like this. It's definitely affordable, but one thing that annoyed me was that it ran out too fast. Like this can is not very big and it didn't last me very long. So next up, just right on the top, I'm sure there's even more swimming in the depths here. Uh, these are three different Garnier Micellar Cleansing Waters. Uh, the one with the pink cap is non-waterproof. None of these are waterproof. These are supposed to take off waterproof makeup. This one is like not especially, but it still does either way. Uh, these you have to shake up. They're like in two parts and it's a little bit more oily. This one is not like that. I like both. Definitely. Uh, I feel like this can take off waterproof makeup as well. Um, this does better, but I like, I almost, I don't even care which one I use, but I keep repurchasing it. There's probably more in here. Y'all know I love this stuff. Next up, I have three different kinds of deep conditioner. First, this is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist. Moist. <laughs> I love this deep conditioner. I've used it for years. I have repurchased it. I will repurchase again. I like this, but I do go through it pretty quickly. Uh, I really like the packaging. You just like squeeze it like this and it just squirts out. I love that there's no cap. I don't know why that takes like two extra seconds of your life, but for some reason for me, I'm like, no, that two seconds, I need that. I wish more things had packaging like this. Next, this is from Sally's. It's one of those generic products. Um, it's supposed to be compared to the Joyco K pack Pack, and it's a deep penetrating reconstructing conditioner. I really, really, really liked this. Uh, I've been done with it for a really long time though. I haven't repurchased it. I think I might have looked for it again at Sally's and the Sally's by my office doesn't carry it anymore. Next up, we have another Schwarzkopf product. Uh, this is the Diamond Color Radiance Illuminating Mask. It's a pot of deep conditioner. Again, it smelled so, so, so good. If this was a perfume, I would wear it. It's actually a one minute treatment, which of course I like better because three minutes, really? <sighs> That's asking a lot. I don't know, any kind of hair treatment, I'm like, I'm way too impatient for, but I like that this one was only one minute. I don't think it did like extraordinary things compared to other ones. I haven't repurchased it, but I would. I just don't find myself at Walmart very often, but I do order online from Walmart. Anyway. Next up, this is the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. Um, I loved this. I talked about it in a favorites video. I used it for a long, long time. I've used it to the last drop. I, Up until like last week, I was still trying to like scrape it onto some lashes because it is good. It does make your lashes stick. Um, it doesn't comp always, always dry completely clear. That's one problem I have with it. Um, but I like the scent, which is very strange for lash glue because often lash glue can smell like unspeakable things. Uh, but this one actually smells 
It smells a little fruity. I haven't repurchased it, but I would. Next, this is just some acetone nail polish remover. It's amazing. It kind of messes up your nails because it's so strong, because uh, it's 100% acetone, but it actually like takes off your polish really, really easily. And like I said, I'm very impatient, so sorry nails have repurchased. Probably not the same brand though. I don't think that brand was special. Uh, next up I have some self tanner. This is the Fake Bake Luxurious Golden Bronze 60 Minutes Self Tanning Liquid and it's a spray formula. I love this stuff. I loved it a lot, I don't know, starting a couple years ago I think and I kind of strayed away from it and then now I'm back and I'm going through it like crazy. Like I literally have it on my skin right now. Do you see my orange elbows? That's, that's the love of self tanner that I have. I don't need, no shame about orange elbows. I don't know, hopefully you can see. Uh, but I love this stuff. You only have to, Luna's Kong has treats in it and she was being too loud, like chewing on it while I was starting to do the video. And so I put it on the counter and now she's just like crying about it. She knows she can make me do anything if she cries. <laughs> I'm gonna resist. You don't know me, little dog. The formula is supposed to work in only 60 minutes. Like you, your tan doesn't develop within 60 minutes, but you only have to have the product on your skin for 60 minutes. Uh, I usually leave it on for at least two or three hours and then I wash it off and I notice that it develops over like, if I put it on in the morning and have it on for a couple of hours, it develops through the day. Like it takes a few hours to actually start showing up on your skin, which is kind of weird, but that's how it works. I really like it. You do have to have like a technique to use it, but it's worth it to me. I get it at Ulta, have repurchased, will repurchase. It's literally on my skin right now. Next up, we have a foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I've talked about loving this stuff. I still love this stuff. I haven't repurchased it for a while because I've been using the uh, Maybelline Stay Matte and Matte and Poreless something something and I love that too, uh, but this stuff is good. I would repurchase. I got color 104. I love this stuff. It stays matte. It is pretty thick. It is pretty full coverage, but I like it. Next up, this is my go-to teeth whitener. Um, I made a whole video about this like years and years ago. I've been using it for so long. You get it at the drugstore, you can get it online. It's totally cheap. It's the plus white, five minute white, and it says it starts working in five minutes. Uh, it has a little asterisk because they are totally trying to play you with that. You have to leave it on for at least five minutes when it starts working and then you leave it on for like five or 10 more minutes. So I put it on in the shower and then I just like take it out when I'm done with the shower and it works. I love it. I've been using it for a long time. I have repurchased it and I will link that video down below. I don't know. I don't really watch my old videos, but it, like it's an old video, like probably like two or three years old. And uh, so hmm, enjoy that throwback. Next up, this is a powder foundation by It Cosmetics. This is the Celebration Foundation Illumination in the color light. And I do technically have a little bit left. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all like broken and horrible. And I just, I, I can't go on with this. I actually really, really, really loved this, but I didn't really use it as a foundation. I used it in combination with liquid foundation and I would like go over spots that weren't covered or needed more coverage or like if I wanted to like cover up the veins like on my neck and chest and stuff like that, I would just dust that over. It has really, really, really good coverage and I like the illumination factor, but if I just wear it on my face for foundation, it gets really greasy. I have repurchased it in the past, but I haven't repurchased it since I used this up. I've been using like different powders. I got like a fancy one from Sephora. It's Burberry and it's amazing, but I don't like that. That review will come later, but I haven't repurchased that, but it is good and worth a try. Next up, I have some lotion. This is the Nivea Cocoa Butter Body Lotion, dry to very dry skin. I actually really, really, really like this. Um, you guys know, here it is right here. I've been using this lotion on my entire body like twice a day since I was like 15 years old or something. I don't even know. This is the Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant. Uh, I love this stuff, but for whatever reason, I decided to try something different. Okay, to be completely honest, it's probably really strange of me to feel this level of brand loyalty, but like, 
I feel a little bit guilty that I strayed away from the Vaseline to Nivea, but part of the reason why I did it was like purely shallow. I don't really like how this looks on my countertop. Not that, that my countertop it looks good or I am even concerned by that because it is a mess of products all the time. But for whatever reason, I am just more attracted to this packaging. So I started using this. I do like it. I find that Luna doesn't like to lick this off my legs like she likes to lick this off my legs, which I feel like is a bad sign. I don't know. She probably shouldn't be ingesting lotion. So whatever. Oh, but needless to say, I would repurchase either one of these, but I have repurchased this one. Next up, we have a forever favorite. This is the Maybelline The Rocket Waterproof. This is my first coat mascara. It keeps my sad straight lashes curled all day, every day, um, and I love it. Like, I use it to the point where it has no label anywhere. Would repurchase have repurchased. Next up, another hair product. This is the Olaplex Hair Perfector, number three. It says to use once a week between chemical services to strengthen hair. It's supposed to just decrease the damage that comes with coloring your hair, which Lord knows, I need all the help I can get. Um, I do think this really makes a difference. I have repurchased it. The only thing is, like I said, using hair treatments, I'm kind of like bad at being impatient about it, so I don't use it as regularly as I should, but I do like it and I do recommend it. Okay, next up. This is this is this is like technically not an empty, but it is a product that I bought and it no longer works. Um, this is a tanning mitt. This one comes with the fake bake. You get a new mitt every time you buy a bottle, but for whatever reason, I have had major issues with not destroying my mitts, which is kind of a new problem. I don't know what I'm doing differently, but no matter what kind of mitt I buy, like I've used all different kinds. This one is the one that I like the best that comes with fake bake. I don't know if you can purchase it separately, but look what I did to this. It is like literally falling apart. This is definitely still usable, but like, what? Am I tanning this hard? Is it that strenuous of an activity? What? How does this happen? So I do have a new one now because I did repurchase and I do like this one, but like I need suggestions from you guys. Have you used like a tanning mitt until it like disintegrates? Because I don't think this is normal. I need like the high performance sport mode tanning mitt. Let me know down below, what are your suggestions? I clearly need help. Next up, I have some body wash. This is the Ology No Harmful Chemicals Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. Uh, and it's like an all purpose, everyday, multi-use soap. I use it in the shower. Basically, this is like a copy rip off, knock off of the Dr. Bronner's that you guys know I've loved and adored and used for years and years. This happens to be the Hemp Baby Unscented version. So this is unscented. I like to use it to like wash my brushes or wash myself, whatever. Um, you can use these for like whatever you want. Or I don't think either one is better or worse than the other. I would repurchase it, but I'd rather use Dr. Bronner's just because. Okay, maybe it has something to do with the packaging and how wildly insane it is. It just has a special place in my heart. Spaceship Earth, give it to me. Next up, I have the Secret Clinical Strength Smooth Solid Waterproof. I love this deodorant. I keep repurchasing it. The only problem with the waterproof is it's actually hard to like wash off. I like it. And I've definitely repurchased it. Next up, this is the Suave Kids Detangler Spray in the Apple Scent. I've been using this also since I was like 15 or 16. I love it. I love the scent. It works well on my hair and it's like $2. And next, this is the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo for the light tone hair. I definitely really, really like this. It has an amazing scent. I haven't repurchased it and Honestly, I don't see myself repurchasing it because I think it is a little bit more pricey and I have other favorites that are dry shampoo that aren't as pricey, so it is what it is. One bag down. Are you staying with me? I hope you're staying with me. Comment down below. Give me a the emoji of the girl that's like sassy like this. Down below in the comments if you're sticking with me. I love you. You are my people. We've only got about 75,000 more products. Here we go. Like I said, I have a hair tool. Uh, I used this hair dryer for so long. It is a Babyliss Pro. Babyliss, I don't know how to say that. Carrera exclusive. I used it so much. 
um, but it finally just died. Actually, it didn't die, but it did scare me to death because it started smoking. It started smoking. It was terrifying and it smelled like burning. And so I was like, mm, okay, you're done. We've had a good time. Our time together is over. I will not repurchase because I already have a new one, but I did like that one. Oh, surprise, another Garnier micellar water. Next up, this is a eye cream by Benefit. It's called It's Potent. And I really, really liked this. Um, for whatever reason, I never got into Benefit skincare. I don't think I'm really like an expert on what's great as far as eye creams, but I do use them and I enjoyed this one. Next up, we have a razor. I think it's a Venus Hydro, I believe. And these are the disposable ones. So I got like five in a pack or something. I don't know why, I usually don't buy disposable razors like that. But these did not last very long. I would not repurchase these. They were good like the first few times, but I felt like they stopped shaving well really, really quickly. So would not repurchase. Next up, this is the Kuhn Caroline Too Faced Spray Ultimate Control. You guys know I love this stuff. It's basically one of those products that like does it all, um, like detangles, protects your hair, just kind of makes it, I don't know, Honestly, I don't know what it is, but it just makes my hair nicer and more manageable and I have repurchased it and I will repurchase again. Next up, this is a setting powder by Laura Mercier. It is the Secret Brightening Powder. So it has like a little bit of sparkle mixed in and I used to use it for my under eye. And actually I started using it for like all over. I loved this stuff. But when I went back to repurchase, I don't have it in front of me and I thought I did, I just got the translucent setting powder. I didn't get this one and I'm sort of regretting it. Next up, this is a foundation. You guys know I love this stuff. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This one definitely still has product in it. Part of me is thinking I might have mistakenly put it in here. The other part of me is saying, yeah, this is pretty old. I haven't repurchased in quite a while. I actually need to do like a massive makeup clean out. And I know I've been talking about that for like a year, but I really, really, really need to do it. Cause like stuff like foundation, like once it gets old, I don't want to use it. There is so much stuff that is just straight up expired, including this. Obviously I would repurchase. I love that foundation. Next up, I have a whole bunch of actually just three dry shampoos. First, this is the Dove dry shampoo. I believe they changed the packaging. I have repurchased this since um, and it has more like green on it. I don't know why. I like the scent of this. It's very affordable. You can get it at the drugstore. It's not my favorite and I think that's mostly because it I use it up really, really quickly. Uh, as you know, this stuff is my true, true, one true love. The Baptiste dry shampoo that's in the sassy, daring, and wild scent. Uh, it's a leopard packaging. I love the scent of this one. It's definitely also affordable. I feel like YouTube like made this brand. Am I right? I know I'm right. Next up, we have another self tanner. This is the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan. Phenomenal, light as air, two to three week tan mousse. I love this stuff. It is pricey though. And I went to repurchase it and I found that my Sephora stopped carrying it. I don't know why. And so I ended up getting something else. I don't even remember what it was, whatever. I have a whole bunch of self tanner, but I do really, really, really like this. I love how the, the mousse spreads on. It's different than other mousses. It doesn't like break down as quickly. So you have more time to like spread it out. It costs a lot, but I think it's really like worth the price. I haven't repurchased it, but I did try and I would repurchase in the future for sure. Next up, this is an old favorite. Uh, this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Treatment Concealer Eraser Dark Circles. I don't know, this thing has too many names, but you guys know I love this stuff. I have repurchased it even recently after not using it for a really, really long time. It's like a brightener and it looks very pink, but whenever you actually like put it on, it's like almost like chalky white, which sounds like it would be a bad thing, but when you have like zombie under eye circles like me, it's a good thing. Would repurchase, have repurchased. I love it forever. Next up, this is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. I like this stuff. I haven't repurchased it, but I would. I always love CeraVe. CeraVe is amazing. Uh, speaking of CeraVe, I have two of the eye creams right here. This is the Eye Repair 
cream and I don't know if this is actually good for me. I like it, clearly I went through two. I haven't repurchased it because I kind of feel like it was uh, making me have like these little, I don't know, they're not like zits, this is kind of gross, but they're like these little white things that are like under the skin and you can't really pop it. And I think that this was contributing to that. I get them like right here. Actually, I'm not really sure because they haven't really gone away and I've stopped using it. So who knows, I could just be blaming poor CeraVe for it, but I don't know, I haven't repurchased it. That's it, finally! That's it for my favorites review. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that because I put out new videos every week and I'd love to have you back. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you so much. If you wanna find me anywhere else on social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, I'm everywhere and I love hearing from you guys. It's Leanne Says, absolutely everywhere. I'm super easy to find and get in touch with. And I think that's it. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Bye. It makes me so sad. So sad. Oh, I totally didn't read that right. On the same page. Safety first. Now, in order to enter, even if you're already a subscriber, there's gonna be a link in the description down below. I'll, I'll put like, enter here, in like all caps, like yelling at you. 